Hey hens, how are y'all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? So, CD Keys leaked The Sims 4 Horses expansion pack. And obviously a lot of people are like, oh, oh my god, how, how did this happen, pray tell? I'm like, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of other people are like, how the damn dickens? Babe, are we going to make an entire expansion pack out of horses? Horses. Especially when The Sims 3 pets not only came with horses, but also other animals. And the horses were good. Like, they were they were fleshed out. They were beautiful. You could race them at an equestrian centre. You could find wild horses just walking about. You could train your horses. You could make little stables for your horses. And you could even... Um, I think you could control them. So for me, personally, is this going to be an entire pack around horses that they best make that the best horses I've ever seen in my life? They better be better than actual real horses. Make an entire expansion pack out of it because how? Literally, babe. The Sims 3 pets even came with the world. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to collate my thoughts about this and I'm going to do a kind of initial expectations video of what I think that they could actually bring to make this worthy of an expansion pack and also kind of just what I'm hoping and expecting. I don't necessarily think hopefully some of this stuff will be in but you never quite know do you know what I mean? You never quite know. I thought there was no way on this earth that The Sims 4 would release without toddlers and yet it did. First and foremost thing I think if it's going to be an expansion pack it's got to be a world because I just don't think that there is a no I mean I'm not a horse girl do you know what I mean? If I was a horse girl maybe I would have a different opinion but I just don't think feasibly that there's enough gameplay around horses to justify it being an entire expansion pack without including a world in it. Logically, I just don't. I mean, maybe there is, you know what I mean? Maybe horses are uh, wild animals, wild rides kind of thing. But I do think that they've got to include a world. Growing Together included a world. And I would have been happy for Growing Together not to include a world because there were so many things that I thought that they could include and they included a world as well. So I think that horses has definitely got to include a world to be able to make it feel good. And I don't just want it to be a tiny world, right? This is an expansion pack. I'm expecting a fully fleshed out world. But as for the type of world that they could include, I was actually talking to my best friend Tia about this when the league got put out yesterday because he was like, a Wild West world would be so cool. And I agree, a Wild West world would make so much sense with this. But we do kind of already have that in Strangerville. I feel like that's overlooked a lot of the time because Strangerville obviously has some people walking around it. Uh, that are infected. So, uh, literally, the Sims 4 predicted that virus. So, I don't necessarily think that they would include this. However, it's kind of sad because it would be exceptionally cool. The other type of thing I could see them including is a country style world, like a Hannah Montana style world. And obviously, I have a vested interest in that because I had a Hannah Montana special interest from the ages of about 14 to 17. So that would speak to me personally. And my favorite world was the world Appaloosa Plains, I think it was called, that was included with the Sims 4 pets. That would have been, that is like my favorite world for The Sims 3. But apart from that, I'm really struggling to actually think of worlds that would kind of cater to the experience of horses, you know, because British or Irish countryside, perfect experience for it, but it's been done with Henford on Bagley. Or rural America, it's been done. Strangerville, Glimmerbrook, you know, like we kind of already ho have those vibes. These are the only places that I really have in my lim limited knowledge. My parents hate flying and even if they didn't hate flying, we did not have the money to travel. So I have really only ever seen England, Ireland and Spain and Hollywood actually. And that is my knowledge on traveling. Like that's as far as it goes. So I don't really have the experience to say, oh, this would be a perfect world for it. I would really love to know what you think would be the perfect world for it. Maybe the Australian outback would be cool. I don't know if we've had any Australian type worlds yet. And also we haven't had a desert world in such a long time that I think like the Australian outback could be so cool. But again, these are very westernized suggestions. So I would very much love to hear uh, suggestions from outside of that sphere. But as for the horses themselves, I am absolutely begging like, please, dear God, if you exist, please heed this prayer. I'm begging that they do not Sims 4 cottage live and cowify the horses. I think cows very much worked in the context of being in that pen in the Sims 4 cottage living. That worked. But I do not think in any way, shape or form that horses being kept in the same pen would work. I would literally shit a brick if that actually happened. But because this entire pack is literally just focused around the horses, I can't see them being in a pen. But that is a fear of mine. <laughs> and speaking of objects in The Sims 4, I'm really again struggling with style because I would love to see some like shabby beds and furniture. And especially with the theme of this Sims quarter being like make it your own or whatever it is. So we've had the rundown pack. I would love to see some furniture items that are really cute, but also don't look expensive. You can see them being passed down or thrifted or something that's really, really, really well loved and well used. Again, feeding into that current revive. But I'm also struggling with this because there's been so many packs out that these types of themes have already been covered. We have a lot of this stuff already. Because I was thinking, oh, some country rugs that have been run down. 
but there's a specific rug and i was like that's the rug i'm thinking of and it already exists in game or like a country style bed and then i was like but that already exists in game oh what about a country city it already exists in game well what about a country style kitchen it already exists in game two of them so i'm kind of struggling because an equestrian theme what would really go with that and the only other type of equestrian theme that i know is an upper class equestrian rider and again a lot of that stuff is already covered in the game so i'm really struggling and also inquisitive to see what they come up with to kind of fit that theme but again this is also making me confused on how this is an entire expansion pack because how are they going to create new items for it kind of moving on to gameplay a little bit but still keeping in, in theme with the objects as well i would like the horses to be so interactable like however interactable i thought that horses were previously i hope that they increase that tenfold because it's an expansion pack especially with skills for your horses to learn horses were trainable in the sims 3 and i hope that that returns in the sims 4 especially with the addition of outside objects for, for them to train with i hope that they give us the ability to build our own pen for the horses or stable because we could in the sims 3 but it was just an object that you placed down and i hope that the build and buy mode incorporates objects for us to make our own i think that could really help improve because the sims 3 horses were good they were good but i think that being able to build our own pen and everything for them and spandrels i think is what what it's called and barn doors and everything like that I think that could really help make it even just improve on something that was already good. I talk about cross-pack compatibility a lot, but I think that this would be the perfect type of thing to incorporate cross-pack compatibility with. That's a really hard word to say multiple times and I've just had to edit out. I know that I will have had to edit that out like three times. Incorporating packs like, for example, Nifty Knitting, babe. Nifty fucking knitting. That would be beautiful. So you can knit some horse gear. I also think it could be really cool if they create milestones with the horse as well because I'm not a horse girl, but I mean, I've said that a lot, so much that it's actually... You know what? I want to be a horse girl. That's the thing, guys. I want to be a horse girl. I want to take a horse riding. I think I'm actually going to start taking a horse riding. One thing about me, I just love feeling the wind in my hair and I love roller coasters for that type of thing. I'm always searching after the, like, the feeling of like I'm flying because... I don't have many recurring dreams, but in like 99% of my dreams, I'm flying and I fly forward with my head. And I think if I was on a horse and I put my head forward, I could kind of recreate that feeling. So I want to be a horse girl, but I'm imagining that people who are already horse girls have like a deep bond with the horses. So I think that it could be really useful if milestones were brought into that kind of thing. And also the relationship dynamics that we see in Create Sim, I think it could be really cool to bring it in there. Like you could have a close relationship with this horse or if you've got like a, a little brother or something that torments the horse, they could have an untrusted one it kicks him with crack went to his tail <laughs> and yeah i think that could be a really cool way to implement some gameplay and also bring other packs in as well and on the topic of create sim i'm expecting it to be exactly like how all the other pets are in create sim with lots of customizability and also lots of outfits the sims 4 loves to chuck a cute outfit on a pet and i eat it up every single time i really do i do think that an equestrian center will be likely if you haven't played the sims 3 because i know it is kind of getting a bit old now but the sims 3 pets had an equestrian center that you could take your horses to and you could race within these equestrian centers i'm not sure if you could have a job there but i think you could like place bets there and stuff but and it's not like me to slag The Sims 3, but it was only a rabbit hole. The Sims 3 loved a rabbit hole. I loved a rabbit hole personally because it made the world so much more interactable. But I think what could potentially make this like expansion pack worthy and again, building on something that was already good, like the stable, if you could actually build these, have them as actual lots that you could go in and visually see horses racing and build a race course or the horse autonomy wise i think this would be an absolute fucking nightmare i'm not going to lie but autonomy wise that is none of my business but i do think if the game this type of gameplay mechanic is incorporated especially with the level of customizability that editable equestrian center and an actual visible equestrian center would bring would kind of push it into expansion pack worthiness as long as lots of other gameplay mechanics are also being included a usable equestrian center that would make me want to buy this fucking pack in terms of other lots i am expecting a kind of saloon but i'm also i'm not 100 percent on that again i think that depends on the type of world that you live in i would really like to see full compatibility with base game and i'm really hoping that willow creek park will become horse friendly and also being able to use your horses like you'd use a car or like you'd use a broom. I would really like them to be able to travel with the horses. But I don't necessarily think I would want them on the biking paths. I don't know. I think that might be a little bit weird. Yeah, I would like to use them on the roads, but the roads basically aren't usable in The Sims 4. I don't know. I think one thing that's stumping me is just the way that The Sims 4 is built. Like how a horse is going to be used. Because in The Sims 3, horses were amazing because the world was so big and you could go anywhere that it was like, yeah, horses fit right in here. But in The Sims 4, it's like, hmm, hmm. 
you know, how I'm not really getting it, you know. Hopefully I'm proven wrong on that. Like hopefully they do something. I'm like, this works, but I don't know. I think especially with loading screens, I think it might be a bit of a hindrance. Speaking of the differences in the way that the worlds work, wild horses and unicorns were a thing in the Sims 3. And you would just find these like walking about the world everywhere that you went but also they could just turn up in front of your house because these are wild horses they don't give a shit and also unicorns that you used to be able to go into map view and you'd see like this sparkling light and it'd be like a unicorn is here and you could go meet a unicorn and i used to love that as an excuse to leave my house in the sims 3 again in the sims 4 the loading screen is such a mental block for me even though i don't have to interact with it unless i want to interact with it but just knowing that i have to interact with it automatically like it just puts a, a thingy up of well, I might as well just stay indoors today. Like, oh, I might just, I might make something appealing on my lot so I don't have to go through a loading screen. But in terms of unicorns, I think this could be a good way to actually get me out of the house. I think it could work if, because obviously within your little neighborhood, there's no loading screen unless you go to a neighbor's house. I think it could work well if they turned up in there. But I also think it could be a really cool and fun and kind of a secretive way, still keeping it a little bit secret so you have to actually look for it. Maybe a bit of both is if you could check the news and it could be like, oh, unicorn sighted in Windenburg. And then you go on the map and then Windenburg would have a little glittery icon over it. And then you'd have to locate where the unicorn was. And then you'd have to go into that neighborhood section and then find the unicorn that way. That could be so cool. I just really need motivation to actually get out of my lot in the sims 4 but if there was something like a, a unicorn on the end of it fucking i might fucking do that you never know and maybe this is my last like prediction maybe just maybe an active career if there was an aqua a quactive if there was an active equestrian career that could push this in uh become an expansion pack worthy because that's what i'm trying to think like constantly what could push this to be an expansion pack over a game pack because werewolves very fleshed out one of the best game packs we've ever got even though i did not expect it to be one of the best game packs we've got and it was a game pack so what could make horses push into that expansion pack thing and i think active career could do it where if you could tend to the horses and there was tasks for you to do throughout the day and you could go to the equestrian center and you could build this equestrian center again like the the building of it and the customization i do think that any like a career just as a standard should be involved in this pack i think a career and a skill most definitely especially new traits but again an active career could be so cool like that would make the horse girls go fucking feral if you could have an active career as a horse you could wake up ride your horse to work go to work clean the horse tend a horse finish work go home ride your horse home take care of your horse wake up rinse and repeat rinse and repeat rinse and repeat if i was a horse girl that would be my i'm going to become the horse girl this pack never mind fucking pushing it into an expansion pack worthy this pack could push me into being a horse girl this pack is me taking being a horse girl for a test drive before i actually become a horse girl it's a gateway truck if you will <laughs> but yeah those are my ideas and kind of speculations i would really be intrigued to know what you think because honestly when i was writing my ideas for this i was like like the, the thoughts aren't thought in like it was really hard to come up with things so i was like how just how the fuck are they going to make an entire expansion pack out of this i mean the ideas i put forward i think if all of those were included, I think it could push it into being an expansion pack. I think it is just inherently cheapened by the fact that the Sims 3 pets came not only with horses, but so many other things. And we got so many things for horses, even though it came with other things, you know? But I think I'm like, right, if you're going to include only horses, you better make it fucking good. It's cats and dogs, I don't know, kind of fell flat for me. But yeah, that is everything I have for you today. I love you all so, so much. I also want to say a big thank you for all of your uh, love on the latest video that I uploaded. I was really anxious because it had been such a while since I last uploaded, but you guys were absolutely amazing and fantastic as always. I love what I do and I love you. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye, bitch.